Hello everybody and welcome back to this week's video. I feel like I haven't sewn in such a long time even though it's only been like four days. Yesterday was my birthday. I turned 20. So I've just been really busy and haven't started any new projects since I finished my last one. That's gonna change today because I am starting my very first Disney villain dress. I have never done a villain before. I've only ever done princesses. And over on my Instagram account, which you should definitely go follow, I kind of asked people what I should do. And a lot of people said villain and more specifically, Maleficent is quite popular, I guess. So I'm doing a Maleficent inspired dress this week. I'm really Really excited. I got the best materials. Let me get them. I got all of this stuff. I spent hundreds of dollars at Joann's. I can't even hold it all. Plus these really cool feathers. I spent way too much money, but Joann's had the perfect materials. So I'm not going to really directly copy either the live action costumes or the cartoon costumes. I'm kind of making my own version of Maleficent dress, but you'll definitely be able to tell who it is. I'm just doing things my way this time. And I have a great design in my Head. So why don't we just get started and I will tell you my ideas in a second. A huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I will be telling you more about them later on. Listen to this. This is what I picture. I want a really corseted look. I think it would look amazing to have like a nice corset as a base and then kind of drape the sleeves and bodice over it so that it's really structured but will still have like a lot of flow to it. So I think I'm going to start with just making a simple black corset to build upon. I want the corset to show so that I can make it cool design wise, but I also want to like drape it over. So if I drape, then the corset will be covered by, I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around, but that's my idea. It's gonna build off of the corset and then I'll have um, some flowy skirts. I do want there to be like maybe a long train or something like that. And then like feathers on the neckline and I need to get horns. I don't think I'm gonna make them because that's just too much work for me. I'd rather buy them off of Amazon and have them look better than anything I could do. So that's kind of where I'm at. It's gonna be kind of dark and I've never really do dark things. So this is gonna be very different for us. Huber is very, very excited to see how this turns out, aren't you? I think I'm gonna go with the pattern that I used for my Anna dress. It's pretty simple, but it had great structure to it. I might raise the top of it just a little bit, but I kind of like it. I'll just add a lot more boning channels because I want it to be really structured. I have this just black satin that I'm going to make make it with. Shouldn't take too long, just making a base. I have these pieces cut out and I did a really big seam allowance so that for bony channels, I can just sew it down. And I think I'm going to make the center panel with this. It might not get seen, but it's kind of cool. Let me put it in better lighting. It's like this scale green stuff and it just reminds me of Maleficent a lot, you know, dragon or whatever. Oh my gosh. This is like the hardest fabric in the world to cut. I'm I'm ruining my scissors, definitely. Like my hand is sore. I cannot cut this. I thought it was gonna be easy. I don't even know what it is. It's kind of stretchy. I can't cut this fabric. I'm having the hardest time. Got it because it was on clearance. There's like three and a half yards and I'm going to bind the edges of this corset with this trim. It's kind of leathery and it matches this very well. So I need to do that really quick so I can do the grommets. This is the corset that I made yesterday. And what I did just now is drape this piece over it so I could get an idea of how much fabric I wanted to use. This is one yard, but I folded it into half a yard. And I think it's really cool. I don't like that it ends right there. I think I might somehow make like it connect to the other side because this sleeve wants to fall off. But like, I think I'm only gonna need half a yard for each side and I have it draped on here and it looks really, really cool. So I really wanted like these long flowy sleeves, you know? What I'm gonna do right now it's all connected it's pinned right here so if I cut right here and sew it down and then I will cut and sew that down it will be a sleeve that's detached but still long and flowy and I think it will work very well because this is how long I want it and it's not gonna be sheer though I have that black satin I'm using but this was just to get an idea and it looks really good now we're gonna take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsor Squarespace building my own website has always seemed like a daunting task but Squarespace has made made it very simple for me to create my own online portfolio of all of the dresses that I've created and the work that I've done. 
Squarespace is a website building platform that allows you to create an online presence of pretty much whatever your heart desires. Not only do they have a variety of website options to choose from, whether you want to create a blog or make your own online portfolio or even have a space for e-commerce, but they've also made it incredibly easy to do so with their guided step-by-step -step process and their user-friendly design. With Squarespace, you're also able to purchase your own domain with no hidden fees, and this way you're able to make a website with the perfect name for you. Go to squarespace.com for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash alexandralouise or use code alexandralouise at checkout for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. You can kind of see what I'm working with here. I have three layers on this. I have this black satin and then I have this color changing one and then I have this net to kind of smooth over the color change. What I did was kind of like drape it over on both sides. I literally don't know what to do back here because it needs to be pulling over very tightly so that it doesn't fall off my shoulder, but it's also a corset. So I don't know what to do, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> and I've basted right here where it's gonna get cut and I'm kind of very nervous to do this, but I'm just gonna go for it, I guess. I'll Please go get more fabric. I think I'm just gonna cut on this line and then I'll sew it down. I hope I don't mess it up. So far so good. I like that the color change is kind of subtle. Like you can see that there's purple and green in there, but it's like not totally noticeable. This is where we left off yesterday. It's really cool because since I put that like mesh stuff under it, I, when you glance at it at certain angles, it's black. But then once you have the movement, you get the color in there. Can you see that? It's so cool. It's kind of mostly sewn together right here. I need to hand sew this and I need to break another one on the second side. And then I'm trying to figure out how to hem it. I like how flowy it is now. I'm going to hand sew this down really quick, I think. The way I've designed it, now that I have both sleeves, this is what it looks like. All of this is hand sewn onto the corset, and let me show you the back. So this is the back of the corset. We have this loose like this, and it's kind of gonna be like a wrap style top. So I have the back bodice ends that are connected to these sleeves, and basically it's gonna wrap like that. You won't even see the corseted part, and then I'm going to use these clasps to like hooks. So for example, there's gonna be like a hook and eye right here inside the corset and right here, and it's gonna hook here. And then this second part, there's gonna be hook and eye on this part, and then it will hook here and it'll just kind of like be wrapped in the back. Hard to explain, but I'm gonna sew those down. And then the bodice, other than having the sleeves, I just need to add the really cool feathers and that really ties the whole look together. I'm sewing the feather trim on right now. And I guess when this was made, I guess like it's glued in there or something because the needle on my sewing machine after like I did a few stitches the thread broke I was like what the heck so I restrung it and the thread broke again the second time and I touched the needle and there's like it's like all sticky now from I guess glue or whatever but the corset material I used is too thick to hand sew like it really hurts my fingers so now I'm like stitching so slow on the machine because like something about the stickiness is making the thread break uh it's just kind of Funny. I'm gonna have to use a new needle after this, but I think the feathers are really gonna make it look good. Now that I have the bodice mostly finished, we're gonna do the skirt. Now the pink may be alarming, but I promise I plan. Uh, I chose pink because in the animated version, there is just little bits of pink on her outfit and I thought it would be a cool addition. This skirt, I think it's gonna have multiple layers. There's gonna be the very first layer, which is this pink stuff. And then over this pink stuff, just, you know, so that it's not pink, uh, we'll do a layer of this purple-ish chiffon. See, it tones down the pink a lot. It makes it more like it purple we're gonna make the skirt pink then we're gonna do then we're gonna do this purple layer that's gonna be skirt one skirt two will have an under layer of black and then an over layer of with this same stuff i used for the bodice so this is gonna be four maybe five layers of fabric 
I'm going to try and save as much of this as I can. And I'm going back to the store today. And I'm hoping that nobody took the rest of this. It was on clearance. I almost got the whole bolt. And then I decided just to get the yardage I needed. But now I'm wishing I got the whole bolt. Because after this dress, I'm making a Sarah Sanderson outfit. And I need some of this. A lot of it. And I'm hoping that nobody has taken it since I was gone. Because it's like the perfect color that I could really use for it. So I'm going to use this in moderation today. Just in case I can't find any more of it. Because I don't have time to order things online. For this, I like want it almost to be a slit. Nothing that's really, really big. So I'm just gonna cut two or two triangle things out. Uh-oh, I should have measured my butt. It's too big for this. It fits in the waist. I wasn't thinking about the butt. It won't close. I'm gonna have to put a panel. I believe that for the hem of this skirt, the waistband, I'm just gonna use 12 tape because it just seems way faster and easier and this is like an under underskirt so it doesn't really matter. I think it looks quite nice if I do say so myself. It's gonna go under this and the colors might not look like they match right now. I'm a bit worried but I think it'll be good because my goal, my vision is I have this skirt right now and then the overskirt I'm doing with the black and like the color changing fabric. Uh, it's going to not be sewn up the center. So it will be split. So when you like spin, you'll see this under it. So you're not always gonna see this, but you'll see it with movement. And I think that's really cool. I sewed the two like rectangular pieces together. I did have to um, gather the purple layer, but I centered the gathers in the middle and not on the sides because the middle is what's gonna be seen. So it lessens the pain. Uh, but yeah, I need to put twill tape on this, um, sew it up, and then I can do the main skirt. This camera really draws out all my <laughs> insecurities. I was going to start working on the skirt, but I want to show you guys what I got. And don't get attached because I'm actually going to be changing it. But I ordered from Amazon this headpiece. It's too tall. Wait, let me move this up. <laughs> Maleficent core. Anyway, I got this from Amazon because I wanted a headband version because I want to have my hair down, but there weren't really any available. So I got this one. It was pretty cheap. It was like 10 or 15 bucks. I'm going to turn it into a headband. I know some people are going to be mad. They're going to say that this is cool, but that's not what I want. It's kind of big. I just don't like how I look without hair. But isn't this so cool? I'm gonna worry about that later. I'm gonna work on the other skirts. Um, basically, I really want a long train, but it all depends on how much of this I have. I think I used a yard for the top. However much I have, I'm gonna make the skirt as long as possible with a train. So let's see, I'm hoping for five yards. I don't remember how much I got at the counter. It keeps going, so I think that we're optimistic here. Let's see what we've got because I know I have enough of the black fabric, so it all depends on how much this is. Oh my gosh, look at how cool this is. The way it moves, it doesn't even look real on the camera. Okay, let's count this out. I don't know if it's just my location, but the ladies at Joann's are always, they're so unpleasant. Like, I do not like coming to my location. It is not fun i feel uncomfortable the whole time but i did get what i needed for my next sarah sanderson costume oh no i was gonna get a black sheer fabric for that skirt and i didn't but i'm not about to go back in there so hopefully it will look fine without it because i don't want to go back i have to take my baby hubert to the vet in an hour so i'm going to try and finish the skirt before that it's actually going to be quite simple i'm just cutting out i'm covering my foot <laughs> i'm cutting out the waist circle thingy right now and i already cut out the perimeter this fabric is so cool because like especially in person this literally just looks black and then you rotate and it's like bam it's purple and green it's just so cool depending on the lighting i'm working on the final stages of the dress um gluing these ears on they were hollow so i had to add stuffing <laughs> to it it's not as easy as i thought it was i already had them glued on but then i realized that the headband like when you put it on goes like that so the ears were touching so i had to kind of move them apart so that the spacing is right when you wear it and i'm letting the glue dry i think they're gonna look okay though <laughs> 